Tonight, a toxic love triangle leads to the grisly murder of a beautiful young bride just three days, three days after her wedding. Michelle Escoto, that's a guy, uh, is accused of plotting with his girlfriend to murder his brand new wife. Also, he could collect $1 million in life insurance. 21-year-old Wendy Trapaga was drugged, choked, and bludgeoned to death. Look at this beautiful young woman. Her body was found outside a Miami warehouse, and it was a gruesome scene. Now, in a crazy twist, the husband, an accused murderer, is representing himself on trial and had to cross-examine the victim's mom. That's right, his former mother-in-law. Did you think that I could kill Wendy? Nunca pensé que fuera capaz una cosa así. I never thought. No su esposo. Escoto's one-time girlfriend and alleged accomplice got total immunity for turning on him. There she is. The ex-girlfriend told investigators she helped the defendant crush up powerful painkillers in order to drug the victim, and she also drove the getaway car. But that's not all. Perhaps the most shocking thing in this case, the ex-girlfriend says she allowed the defendant to dunk her head in a bathtub of water so they could practice drowning his wife. Are you kidding me? What do you think about this? one eight seven seven jdm says one 877 John Lieberman, investigator. Take us through the grisly timeline from wedding vows to murder. Well, let me tell you this, Jane. Ironically, this guy wasn't charged right after the murder. What happened was he sued the life insurance company claiming that he should have gotten the $1 million faster, and he gave conflicting statements as to what happened during that civil trial. That's when police in 2005 actually charged him, and then they found this ex-girlfriend, and they got her to flip on him as well. This has been a very lengthy case that's now carried on for more than a decade, and quite simply, it's going to come down to, does this jury believe this ex-girlfriend who flipped and got complete immunity, do they believe her blow-by-blow -blow testimony of exactly how he did it, how he did the murder? Well, my gosh, considering what she has admitted to, she has gotten away, this woman, with horrific acts, all for agreeing to flip, basically, and, and turn coat and turn against the defendant. I mean, this woman, by her own admission, practiced. She allowed her boyfriend to practice drowning her in the bathtub. She was the, the model for him to practice trying to kill his wife. I can't get my head around that, Lisa Bloom. Yeah, it's very disturbing. You know, it's the whole system where somebody gets complete immunity, even though they've committed a terrible act, is awful, except what's the alternative? I mean, if they want to get the primary killer, uh, this man, allegedly, then they have to have evidence against him, and she's the primary witness. So, boy, I agree. I would sure like to see her behind bars as well, but I guess the thinking is it's better to get one of them than neither of them.